reportedly interested. Atlanta has discussed sending a package, this is according to Woj, that includes a 2020 first-round pick via the Brooklyn Nets and the salary cap relief of expiring contracts for Detroit, league sources said. A potential deal would include other assets also. So, Kevin, we're discussing this during the break. I I'm a bit confused because the Hawks are 7-27 and right now. And Andre Drummond is on, if he wants to be, if he declines his player option, an expiring contract. This yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure this out from the Hawks' standpoint, and this is kind of what I've come up with. Okay, uh, we still have issues at center. Yes, we're building for the long term, but at a certain point, we need to stabilize this defense and this play. Hey, and if Andre is committed to Atlanta, it's a, it's a nice city, he wants to be there, he can grow up with this young team. Look, there are worse guys to play pick and roll for the next six years of your life than Trey Young. Are you kidding me? Look, I mean, not everybody has to be 20, 21, and 22, and I, I think they'd like to make a little progress. It's been a rough year in Atlanta. Yes, the expectations were measured, but they need something injected there. I mean, it's, it's just, it's kind of been stale the last couple of months. You're talking about his age. I had to look it up because right. I'm going to confess. I thought he was older but than he is. How old is he? He's fucking 26. Oh, people thought he was, you know, past. He's still him. relatively, he's, he's fucking young. young. Younger player, but I don't know how much sense it makes to Atlanta, but I, I think a team that definitely is looking for a big is Boston, yeah. as long as they don't have to give up too many. You hear that, Kawana McCray? <laughs> Remember our talks in the comments. In their back pocket, and I think he would be a great fit in Boston. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, I, I love it for the Celtics. The Hawks, I'm still trying to get kind of comfortable with. I don't know if this is Detroit starting trying to get a bidding war going or something. Yo, what it do, y'all? It's your man, my little Ray Boy. Pistons 111, Warriors 104. Well, like I told y'all, this fucking beard is weird. <laughs> no, but like I told y'all, man, it ain't gonna be no crow on my part. And they should have won that game anyway. I'm watching that game, and I'm not coming from a place of hate. I'm just coming from just being real, y'all. What? What I got out of that game is if Draymond Green would have played or D. Russell, we would have lost. That's what I got out of that game. But they didn't. Not a bad effort from the Warriors. Salute to them. The Pistons did what they were supposed to do. I don't know who the Pistons play today. I'm quite sure they're going to lose. <laughs> Depending on who they played off. So now I see now. I think it's the Detroit Pistons. They trying to move Drummond. I don't know why if he wants to be here. That's if he wants to be here. I'm not sure I believe that either. I mean, people say all types of bullshit every day. So I don't know. I know he loves being in Atlanta. I know he has a lot of respect for a Boston franchise. And, you know, and shout out to the Boston Celtics franchise. It's not them. They fans. I hate they fans. Period. They fans are shit. Raptors fans, it's still fuck y'all. You know what y'all did to the finals last year. As far as the Pistons go, yeah, man, we got some blowing up to do, clearly. My God. Uh, whatever we can get for Blake, if it's good, I take that. Because he's spent just as much time on the bench as he has on the floor. That's the one thing I was leery about when we got Blake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, Ben. I'm sick of this losing streak. It's bad coaching. Let's talk about it. We can talk about it. <laughs> I feel you, man. Yeah, the Pistons, we definitely got Detroit sports as a whole got to go back to recovery. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing from Sekou D'Ambre. He got a uh, got tight, got tightened up on that post defense, but that'll come. He's young. He's 19. You know, I would like to see Jordan Boone. I'd like to see Kyrie Thomas, who's still in the fucking G League. And that's the thing too, man. We keep talking about a. We need a. We do need a point guard. I don't understand what is they doing, man. What are y'all doing in Detroit? Y'all got these young cats who want to get out here and actually prove that they belong out here. And you got old-fashioned idiots like our coach for one. I don't know. I have no idea what the owner's doing. This has got to be the dumbest ownership, the dumbest front office in the game right now. I don't even know who the Pistons play today, man. I purposely ain't even checking for it, but I'll see. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at this team top to bottom, and I'll give y'all some real assessment. As far as I'm not going to entertain what moves we should make, because they're not going to make them. There's no point in even doing that.
That shit's still funny to me. <laughs> Damn, you know, normally, you know, Machine Gun Kelly, he should be bubbling right now. Why is he not bubbling? You survived. Oh, you, you survived rap beef with a rap giant. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. What is the hold up? Yeah, like Machine Gun Kelly, whack. I still fucks with him. We'll get back to that though.